Bunting reveals the truth behind his exit with the Toronto Maple Leafs this offseason. We'll discuss this and much more coming up on this episode of Hatcher HQ. Hi, I'm your host, KC, alongside my co-host, Mark Pye, and welcome back to Hatcher HQ. But before we get into the video, we got some breaking news to report that 97.5% of you guys aren't subscribed. So if you're enjoying our content, make sure to, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button. Now, we really appreciate it. We've been loving pumping this content out to you guys, and we're trying to hit 250 subscribers uh, before the season starts, so we'd love to see that happen. And with that said, we're going to get right into our first topic of the video, which is Bunting breaks silence after signing with Carolina. And obviously, Michael Bunting was a player that a lot of Toronto Maple Leafs fans didn't want to see go uh, this offseason. But with Toronto's cap res restrictions, it just didn't work out. But as you as we see here, he signed a three-year, $13.5 million contract with the Carolina Hurricanes. He scored 23 uh, goals in each of his uh, past two seasons with Toronto. But Bunting goes on to say here, uh, it was just quick talks and nothing extensive. Bunting told Bunkus about any talks with the team's front office about returning to the Leafs. It wasn't a lot of contract talk that went on during the season. And then kind of once the offseason came along and whatnot, it didn't really didn't really hear much. You kind of just figured that it, it wasn't going to work out. But he also goes on to say here, I'm not really sure what transpired. Uh, you, you can't really worry about that. You just got to keep, keep it going, and he's just looking forward to the future and his next cha next chapter in Carolina. Obviously, he says there's no hard feelings surrounding his de departure from, uh, from Toronto, but he also goes on to say here, that's the business, and you understand just how it works. We're playing in a cap era, and the cap obviously comes in situations with every single team, and they, they try their best to make everything work, and every team tries to make the best team that they can with the cap situation that they're in. So with that being said, I totally understand the business side of it. And once free agency opened and Carolina came calling, I didn't hesitate. And obviously they say here, Bunting recorded 46 goals and 66 assists in 161 games in Toronto over the last two seasons. And he's been enjoying being on the team's top lines alongside Matthews and Mitch Mariner. Like he says here, I built chemistry with Austin and Mitch in that, in that first year. And I kind of just ran with it in each game. Uh, more confidence will build and build. And you kind of feel like you belong in the NHL. And you feel like you can keep up with everybody, Bunting said. Obviously, Mark, as a big Toronto Maple Leafs fan, uh, what do you think about Michael Bunting's comments here uh, uh, on this podcast about his departure in Toronto? I mean, you can see with the comments he was making, he did really like Toronto. Uh, Davis kind of took a swing on him as a guy that you didn't know what he was really going to do when he was signed for free agency when he left Arizona. But, I mean, Bunting was a big piece of the team. He's seen him put up 23 goals in consecutive seasons. He was a great complimentary piece on the first line. It's one of those guys that was such a low cap hit that it was, everyone just thought he was, you know, amazing at that cap hit. You had him for a million dollars. You know, he put up the 23 goals. He fit in perfectly with a young core and Mitch and Matthews. And it does hurt to see him go, but I think a $4.5 million contract was almost – too much for the least to match, and I wish nothing but the best for him in Carolina. Yeah, I have to agree with you there. Like you said, he was just one of those guys who came in and nobody really knew, and he just kind of broke out of his shell there in Toronto, which I know a lot of Leafs fans are happy about. That, like you said, you hate to see him go because he was such a great player and such a such a just a great guy. And like and like you said, he like he said in this interview that he loved his time in Toronto. I'm sure he's friends with a lot of the guys. He still talks to him, and uh, obviously all of us here, Hatrick HQ, wish him the best in Carolina. And, and it's just great to see, you know, uh, a guy who understands the business side of it and, and doesn't take it to heart that he isn't resigned. He's just looking forward to the future, and and that's all you can really ask for. Yeah, no, that's the big thing. I think the big ultimate decision with the Leafs kind of parting ways and maybe not talking as much is you've seen a lot of the time bunting sometimes the temper would step in. And in the playoffs, you would take a high hit on someone, and which ultimately led to him being suspended. And I think sometimes Keith kind of lost trust in these situations, which with the Toronto media, you have them coming in talking so much about stuff like this. You know, they're making up storylines about it. And it's just kind of hard to keep a guy around and pay him this much money if the coach kind of loses a bit of trust in situations like this. 
Yeah, and, and you're right, you know, like you said, he's signed with like a $4 million plus dollar contract, and it's, you know, as much as you don't want to see him go, it's hard to keep him at that price tag, especially when Toronto, with that money this offseason, uh, made a lot more moves happen, uh, which we're going to talk about now here in our second topic of this video, which is the Leafs got a better option in Bertuzzi. And uh, obviously, Tyler Bertuzzi uh, was the guy they signed to be Bunting's replacement in my eyes. Uh, obviously, he's been a great player. Uh, he was a highly touted prospect at one, time, at one point in his career. He's still only 28 years of age, so he's still got a lot of pop in him. Last year, he just played He played 50 games, had a hand injury at the beginning of the season. So he was kind of dealing with that uh, when he came back. And uh, he only put up, I believe, 30 points uh, last year in 50 games. But as we see the season before, he put up 62 points in 68 games. So... Uh, this guy is on my watch this year, uh, Mark, for sure, because you got a young or a younger guy like that coming in now, uh, who has that talent as we see, like he's a 60 point scorer before in his career. And when you're bringing him in and putting him on uh, top line, maybe with Matthews and Mariner or a second line with Tavares and Nylander, I think it's only going to make his game so much better. Yeah, no, I completely agree. You know, when you see a guy like Tyler Bertuzzi and Michael Bunting, they they play the pesty role, you know. They're getting under your skin. They're going to be physical. They can still pop goals. They can still put up points. But I think Bertuzzi is definitely an upgrade. The worst thing is you only get a one-year on Bertuzzi. You don't know if he's doing this just to kind of get more money if he can put up an outstanding season with some of Toronto's top talent. But a guy like that, if you're making a playoff run, you see him last year with Boston. He was debatably the best playoff guy in that seven-game series they had against the Panthers. And with Bunting, you need to kind of take a step back in the playoffs at times. So I think you do get a massive upgrade, especially in the playoffs. And as much as you miss Bunting, I think you're more than happy with this replacement. Yeah, Mark, you know how much I love players who do stuff that isn't on the stat sheet. And I think Bertuzzi is one of these guys that, you know, you can throw out there against other teams' top lines, especially in the in the playoffs. And they he's just going to go out there and grind them down and beat on them, and they're going to be in the dressing room with ice packs on, rubbing icy hot on. Like, he's just a, a good kid. I think he's going to go out there. He's going to tear it up in Toronto this season. I really hope he does because uh, I, I'm a big fan of his game. I really like uh, gritty players. And I think, like I said in the past, I, in these videos, I think the Toronto Maple Leafs needed grit to win, and I think they added that with Tyler Bertuzzi. Yeah, no, for sure. I think it could be a realistic situation to get 30 goals, 30 assists out of Bertuzzi. If you put him on the line with Matthews and Marner, I mean, who knows what he's going to do. You know, Mitch can set up so many guys, one of the best playmakers, and you get into the situation with a guy like Bertuzzi that can get in front of the net. He can grind his way to 30 goals, and like I said, I, I love this ad for the Leafs. Yeah, definitely, and I'm expecting like 50 points out of him minimum. I think when he's playing, if he can stay healthy, hopefully uh, he doesn't have to deal with that hand issue anymore. I think well, we can easily see him put up 50 this year, especially playing with uh, top stars in the league like Mariner, Matthews, and Nylander, etc. But we'd like to hear your guys' thoughts on this down in the comment section below. What are your thoughts on Bunting's uh, uh, comments uh, about his departure in Toronto? Obviously, uh, I think he was just uh, took it as a very cl a classy act. I think uh, you know he loved his time in Toronto and he didn't want to talk bad about the organization because they gave him the opportunity opportunity so that he could make all this money now with Carolina. And we'd also like to hear uh, what your what your take on, uh, on Tyler Bertuzzi is. Do you think he's going to be a, a next star to break out in the Leafs organization? We'd like to hear it. We'd like to hear it down below. But like we said at the beginning of the video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Uh, we're 97% of you guys aren't subscribed. Uh, we're trying to get our numbers up to 250 uh, before the, the season uh, starts. So please make sure to hit that subscribe button. We've been enjoying putting this content out. And we love seeing your, all your guys' comments and all you guys liking the video. It really makes us uh, strive to put these daily videos out to you guys. And we've been really enjoying doing it for you. But for Mark Pye, I've been KC. Keep your stick on the ice.